Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I'm going to do another uh, pyrography, another wood burning. Uh, it's going to be a little, little different this time. I am going to be doing uh, mushrooms. Uh, I've always liked mushrooms. I always liked doing them. And, uh, these are a little, I guess, fancier than what I usually do. But uh, I want to see how good I can do them. And uh, I don't know if I made the comment before, but uh, I tried the, the basswood, or not the basswood, but the poplar uh, slabs. Uh, man, I'll tell you, I just a uh, hard time burning on them. I mean, I, I could do it, but it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't as, as easy and smooth as the basswood. When I, I hadn't done basswood for know quite a while a couple months probably doing just little odds and ends on pieces of plywood and um, you know birch plywood and some birch rounds and uh, birch oblongs and making trivets and stuff but I finally got the basswood slabs and uh, oh my the, the difference to me anyway the, the difference is night and day um, Burning on basswood is like uh, burning in butter. It's just so smooth and easy and um, unencumbered. It, it doesn't it doesn't take a lot to get it through like some of the other plywood type do. You know, it's just kind of a harder pull. This just kind of glides through. Anyway, get off of that. Um, I'm going to set with a camera overhead again and try that out again. I got uh, the Kodak that I'm talking to. I've got to get uh, a tripod that's a little bit longer to get the camera up in the air a little bit for, further. But uh, this will work for now. So anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for this video. Is that uh, this is going to be another one of them that are going to be uh, I'm going to sell. I don't know the sale that's, that we got coming up. So, I will let you go and I will get the camera set up and we'll get going, okay? Well, I've changed tips to a lot smaller tip. I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but it's really tiny. And I'm going to do that for some of the detailed work, like the gills. The gills and the mushroom and the, the caps here and, and some of the accent lines. I'll try it on the grass. To, 
the spots on the mushroom. I'm gonna. This is all new to me. I have a a razor tip SK with the changeable tips on it. Um, it is uh, just unbel unbelievably light and easy to maneuver, and the heat is just there all the time. So. That uh, uh, razor tip is an unbelievably great machine, let me tell you. Well, let me get the camera set up overhead and uh, we'll get after it. Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be finishing up on the, the mushrooms a little bit more. Uh, this time I'm going to go over some of it with a, a little round ball just to make little spots, black spots. So let me get the camera set up and we will get back at you.
Well, I believe I have everything done but the finishing of it. Uh, that's the way it's, it's going to be. Now I have to put the polyurethane over the top of it. I've got a couple little places I need to clean up yet, but uh, I think that's that's about it. Not too bad, I guess. Not too bad for my first thing of mushrooms. Um, kind of like it. Kind of like it. So, I hope all you guys have liked it. So, let me uh, end for the day. I'm going to go inside and it is way too hot to go outside and try to spray anything today. So, tomorrow, I think tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be 101 tomorrow again. Uh, not supposed to get cooler until this weekend, but I need to I need to finish this. So probably have to get up early in the morning and come out and, and spray it. So I will see you when I get there. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Okay. What I'm going to do is I am going to spray this now with clear semi gloss polyurethane Now, I'm going to cover it up, 
so it can't get dusty and bugs sit on it. And tomorrow, I'll put the second coat on it. And that's all there is to it. And remember, grab your cane, your hiking stick, your walking stick, whatever you use, and get out there because nature is beautiful.